Six months into the war in Gaza, the human cost has been devastating. Israel estimates that about 1,200 people were killed in Hamas's October 7 attack, including more than 300 soldiers, and says 256 soldiers have been killed since the start of its military operation in Gaza. More than 33,000 people have been killed and 75,000 injured in Gaza since the war began, according to the Gaza Health Ministry, which does not distinguish between civilians and combatants and says the majority of the dead are women and children. The dead include more than 170 UN workers and seven World Central Kitchen employees, according to those organizations, and more than 90 journalists and media workers, according to the Committee to Protect Journalists. Here are some of the most significant moments since the war began. Hamas, which has controlled the Gaza Strip since 2007, chooses the Jewish holiday of Simchat Torah to launch the deadliest attack on Jews since the Holocaust. First, the group fires a barrage of rockets toward Israeli cities. Then, fighters break through the border fence and use paragliders and speedboats to attack Israel by land, air and sea. Gunmen storm military posts, kibbutzim and a music festival. Israeli officials say around 1,200 people are killed and more than 250 people, including the bodies of some of those killed, are kidnapped and taken into Gaza. A UN team later says it has found reasonable grounds to believe that some victims were sexually assaulted. The next day, Israel declares war. Israel declares a complete siege of Gaza. The enclave, home to more than 2 million Palestinians, has already been under a blockade for 16 years. Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant says, no electricity, no food, no fuel, will be allowed to enter. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, unpopular before October 7, and now accused of failing to protect the country, reaches a power-sharing deal with political rival Benny Gantz to form an emergency unity government to direct the war. Israel calls up 360,000 reservists. Israel gives the more than 1 million people who live in northern Gaza 24 hours to evacuate southward. Hundreds of thousands heed the warning. Others refuse to leave. At least 100 people are killed when an explosion hits Al-Ali Hospital in Gaza City. Hamas blames an Israeli airstrike. Israel blames a stray rocket launched by Palestinian militants. A Washington Post analysis of video from the scene reveals that rockets were launched from Gaza toward the hospital 44 seconds before the blast. Egypt reopens the Rafah crossing, the only way in or out of Gaza that Israel does not control, enabling a trickle of aid to resume, but at a fraction of pre-war levels. Some foreign nationals and dual citizens are later allowed to leave the enclave. The Israeli military expands its ground operations despite warnings from the Biden administration that a full-scale assault could cause heavy civilian casualties.